Right guys, it is our last event session before Britain's Strongest Man. Sorry about the camera quality if it's a bit off. Simon has COVID, so we have got a GoPro. We have got Dan up again, he is back. Mr. Mwani, Mwagi is back. So he's just up here to kind of go over the last, uh, like I said, the big event session before uh, Britain's Strongest Man, two weeks on Saturday. Yep. That's right, so yeah, so we're gonna get to it. That's all I can say really. Let's go, let's train. Then we'll do 120, 130, move on to the wooden log, which is 140. Plan is to do 140, 160, 180, 200, then 200 plus. Uh, see how it feels. Um, and then that'll be all done, and then we're moving on to the dumbbell press. So that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, as Tom says, apologies for the, the quality. It might not be the best today, but. We're trying to make do. Simon, hope you're feeling better soon. The dreaded, you know what. We've got three singles up to 190, 200. Come on. Nice. Come on now. Nice. Yeah, buddy. So guys, 200, two singles, uh, almost three singles, 180 to 200, so 180, 200, 200, buzzing with that. First 200, I've hit in a while, so what a way to end, kind of 
the prep with a low press, so I feel very happy, feeling very strong right now as well. Um, squats last night were really good, Monday was good, Tuesday was good, so yeah, just keep the ball rolling and let's go. What's up guys, so um, unfortunately I'm going to call it a day today. Um, my back's kind of spasming at the moment. Um, it's nothing serious, but I think just with how my body's feeling at the moment, it's been a bit of a brutal week. And um, yeah, I'm going to bow out today and maybe come back in uh, tomorrow the next day and get the events done. So I just start that last rep on 200. Um, my clean position when I was here, my back started to kind of twitch. Um, so, not the best, but it is what it is. So, um, I'll probably bugger off and uh, yeah, chill for, for the rest of the day. Um, rest it up, do some mobility with Sean, um, maybe later on, and uh, see how it goes. So, it's one of those things, sometimes you just gotta know when to say to stop. Um, and can I come back another day? So, apologies, you're just going to see Big Tommy in this session. I'm sure Tom will smash it. Um, and I'm going to go home and have a little cry to myself. And the left side's looking all in down, it kind of catches every bit. Yeah, so. So come on, Brian. How do you feel about uh, Luke not being able to train with you the rest yeah, of the day? Yeah, it's. You know, you have to be uh, smart with these injuries. You know, I've had a few bad event sessions the last few weeks, last week. I, bugging my shoulder up and you know it's bad in your head you kind of say oh, I want to keep going but at the end of the day if you just leave it there and then rest you come back stronger the next week like my last week like I said last Friday I was a right off you know I couldn't hardly do anything and then I'm back here stronger so you know like I said strong man mentality is pushed for everything but there's sometimes you just have to go that's me done for the day looks 37 years old as well he keeps pushing he can go serious injuries so he's doing the right thing so we're just going to do a wee workout montage now that Luke's uh, you know, not joining us for the rest of the session. So you're going to hear from me before uh, before the event and after the event. So next event for me is Dumbbell. Obviously that's been a wee bogey event for me since I've been coming back. But I've added in an extra set uh, session or two this week. And I'm getting much more confident. So fingers crossed I have a good Dumbbell session to, uh, like I said, top off the, a great event day so far for me. So let's do it. Right guys, that's the easy part of training done. Now, since it's a hard part with all this shields, stones, etc, etc, I thought I need some helpers plus training partners, so uh, I introduce you. Right guys, dumbbell done. Yeah, finally, I hit the 117 for two singles. Mental block and it felt good, so yes. We're gonna to go to Arnold's and we're gonna smash it, aren't we? Oh yeah. Uh, so it was just a dumbbells for me, but yeah, 117, two singles, felt like a peanut. <laughs> hey, I'm back. Anyway, we're in a warehouse and Dan, what events are we doing now? Uh, we're gonna do some sandbag throw, shield, sandbag to shoulder, frame, and some atlas stones. So that's why I took shot and Dan up. You know, these events are really hard to train by yourself and there's no motivation if you do it yourself. So have, ha have Dan and Sean here, then I'm gonna help Harry finish his session. So let's do it and get well soon, Luke.
Jesus. The boys. <laughs> Last week's training, I think we were all a bit worried about where Tom was, what was going on with his dumbbell. Um, just knocked his confidence, you know, he was world's strongest man last year. He's the best in the world at what he's doing. It's nice to see this week we've got it back and he's smashing some unbelievable numbers. First time, mate. Disgusting. <laughs> nah, good though. Good to try it out. Good yeah, f***ing brutal. Oh. It's good, man. Impressive. Works hard. Knows how to be sad. It's all you need for <laughs> strong man. So, do you think Dan being here is a big impact on your performance today, or? Yeah, I mean, I, I always like Dan coming up. Um, you know, I try to perform the best I can. Sometimes my head goes, but I know it's my head, not my strength. As people seen last night, my squat, 360. You know, I a squat PB my first time ever in a suit, which suits usually take four or five weeks to kick in. Uh, so I know I've got 20k at least more than that in, in me, and then obviously the dumbbell as well today. Uh, two singles at 117, the easiest it's felt. So, you know, to think that two or three weeks ago I couldn't squat 300, couldn't 
dumbbell 100k now, all these events are feeling really good, but I feel strong. For me, I always do the things out the gym, right? And that's, in my eyes, how I'm, I, I can recover better and I think I'm a bit better than other people that way because in the gym, yeah, you can do as much as you want in the gym, but out the gym's where titles are won or lost. And right now, my recovery's on point, mobility's on point, food's on point, and I feel unbelievable, right? And today's proven it that, you know, I feel good and I'm ready to win everything this year, so. Do you think that knowing your limitations and saying that you can lift the weights is helping you more? Yeah, I mean, yeah, Dan, it's good, but I'm after, I know my lim limitations as well. Dan's there just to, you know, keep me going and to not let my head go. That's what the coach is for. You know, I, I know I can lift things. I know I can push my body to the limit, but at the end of the day as well, this is training. So you want to hit something that's going to work you, but not 100%. You know, I never ever want to go like 100% in training. It's kind of pointless. I always want to keep five, 10K in the bag or one or two reps in the bag, you know, for the day. So yeah, feeling good and I'm ready to rock. There's no danger, no. You ever get that? There's no danger I'm getting that. Just like this, like a stuck deadlift. Then. Sure. On, your, on your toes first, then take the strain out of it, then pull. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. There you go. <sighs> you, how long? You're good. You're good. Like a deadlift bar, right? Just straight like a deadlift, that's what it is. So, like here, like he just goes, he forgets his legs are there, so it's straight in that straight position. Then, Stand up and yourself. Come on, Dan. So, hands under it, onto your toes. Straight on the line. Straight up. Then you sit down with it. You don't want the back to change direction until it's up above your knees. Yeah. Easy now, Sean. Go on. Rip it up. Straight, go, straight, go, straight, go, straight. Pick up. There you go. Sit down. Sit down, Sit down Now stand up. Squeeze in. Yes, 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 yes. Both hands under. <laughs> <laughs> Holy f***. It's recording, dude. <laughs> See when the camera's oh. out, people put it on a show for you. See, it's easy when you don't think about it. When you overthink. Just get in your head, eh? What changed? Uh, what changed? From um, your first attempt? In the head, mate. It's not a I think the first two times I walked up and I knew I wasn't going to do it, so you're not going to do it, are you? you need to believe you're going to do it. And uh, a wee demo by Dan, which definitely helped as well, so all good. Uh, so we've got sandbag to shoulder, we've put the weight up a bit, and we're just going to replicate the comp. We've got like two, two and a half minutes on the day, so just doing as many reps as possible in that time. Just one set though, so it should be easy work. What's the weight of the sandbag? Uh, about 180, I think. Let me see the sandbag. It's one set, so all you've ever wanted to do is one set. Yeah, man. One time. Good. That's 30 seconds, so if we're doing good. Breathe. Nice, Tom. Come on, Tom. Tom. Big drive. Impressive. Come on. Reset, reset Tom. Oh, it's just, there's no point doing two and a half minutes of that. The bag, I ain't doing that for two and a half minutes. You don't, there's no way in hell I was just doing that for two and a half minutes. The point is that you've got two and a half minutes, so you don't have to work flat out for two and a half. The world record, four reps. Five. Yeah, and only money is kind of close he's done. That's what I said, well you said work for two and a half minutes. But like we're still on like one minute forty, so you could still do another rep within the two and a half minutes. Two. 
Then just do another set. Try and get three reps done. Alright. No reps. Nice one. Right, breathe. Get the air in. Right, whenever you're ready. Fine, team one. Good work. Good. Come on. Breathe. We've got ages, man. You can recover. That's only one minute, man. We've got so long to recover. Get the air in. If you're aggressive, it's over quicker. Come on. Come on, Tom. There we go. Aggressive now, Tom. Come on. Fight it. Right. Good lift. Nice shot, man. Don't look for this to get over it. No wonder. Let's go, Tom. Come on. Come on. Rip off the floor. You got it, come on. There you go, sit down now. Sit down. Oh, better, Sean, come on. Squeeze it in. Massive hips. Yes, yes, yes. Both hands. Get underneath, get underneath. Under it now, under it, under it. Go again. Get right round and go. Yeah. Like head to head. Here on. Come on. Here we go. Work. Come on, Sean. You got there, let's go. <coughs> Lift it, come on. There you go, Sean. Squeeze it in. Get low, get low. Squeeze it in, Sean. Let's do your work. Come on. Go on, Sean. There you go, there you go, there you go. Both oh, hands a bit away. Good effort. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, Do I feel better? Yeah, I got so lightheaded after the first rep. Oh, that's horrible, man. Right, guys, event's done. Uh, my last big session before Britons and Arnold's. Uh, we didn't touch up the stones today, they're a bit dirty, and we've done, I've done a lot of work, heavy, a lot of heavy stuff, so. At the stones are at the stones at the end of the day. So um yeah, so had Sean here, he did some frame carries and then he hit two uh a double sorry at the 100k samba, which is cool to see. So yeah, we had some fun. Dan was here like always helping, getting involved as well. But I feel much more confident now after this week of training for Arnold and Britons, you know, I'm doing everything right now. Um, I've got my, my mind back in control of myself. So yeah, how did it look today? So really good man. What's with that? Everything's flying. Yeah, so everything's good, so just go hot, hot and cold and watch the football this weekend and I'll be buzzing with life for Monday for our biggest deadlift session in my history. Let's do this. Oh yeah, stay safe, smile and stay spicy. <laughs> Don't forget to ring the little bell. Come on. <laughs>